Hello and good morning. I'm Nobi Doherty. <laughs> I'm Becky Elder. And this is Legend, Legend Has, Has It, it podcast. podcast. Welcome back. We have a super special episode planned for you today. It's fully planned out. I mm-hmm. have an idea of exactly where it's going to go. Also, same. I also have an idea of everything I want to say. It's scripted. In fact, most scripted podcasts is what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> We are the world's most scripted podcast. I'm um, reading everything off cue cards, which is behind the main camera yeah. right here. We have someone standing behind the camera flipping cards. Everything is... Maggie, I'm a little bit pissed off, okay, if I'm perfect. being honest. Yeah. I'm a little bit enraged. Mm-hmm. You lost our baby at the King of Prussia Mall. Explain yourself. Okay, so we have this baby and all. Which is um, named... Chris. Chris... Len. Christ, for short, with a T. Christ, but spelled like Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Christ by Christ. <laughs> yeah, so Christ, uh, Noel, and I went to the King of Prussia Mall, and we were just walking around, and of course, I saw that the new um, high-end, what's it called? The new one that opened... Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah, just open. So, of the course, I go, oh, Dolce and Gabbana. And I <laughs> As one does. And I put the baby down for, like, one second and went inside to go shopping. Um, and then when I came out, baby was gone. So, if anyone happens to find um, a baby, name tag says Chris on the collar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's ours. There's a phone number on, it, on yeah. the, on the says, baby tag. Hello, my name is Chris. My number is, and then the number. And then it says, I like carrots and peas. Peas. Weird, weird things. Yeah, we got I don't it. know why Chris is really into that I'm stuff. I'm allergic to latex, so don't put any gloves on me. <laughs> <laughs> it says that all. It's like really tiny. I hope they can read it. Ooh, I wonder if the font was big enough. We really didn't think that through. I'm really glad we picked American Typewriter as the font best, for the collar for our baby that we share. Yes, Chris. Christ. Yeah, so beyond the baby and whatever, um, I'm not did you, like... Did yeah. you find anything good in Dolce & Gabbana? I did. Um, I found this really cool belt. Um, it was kind of in the very back of the store. What flavor? Um, yellow. It was in the very back of the store in like a corner. Um, and I asked the worker, I was like, oh, how much is this? And they're like, that's not, I've never, that's not a part of any collection. I've never seen this before. I was like, that's a weird name. Um, and I picked it up. <laughs> That's good. Thanks. That good. I picked it up, and um, on the inside there was there was this message, and it said, "This is the first clue. If you want to find what you're looking for, look in the old navy." Maggie, crazy that you mentioned that. Mm-hmm. Literally crazy. Yeah. I was in Prada, as you know. Yeah. You were looking after our baby, Chris. Yeah. I took a dip into Prada which is also at the King of Prussia Mall. And I went to the back and I found this pair of pants. And they were like, oh, this isn't in the collection. I had a very similar experience. What did you say? It said, this is the first clue. The next clue is in the Pac Sun. Well, mine said Old Navy. Are we on two different? Okay, so my conclusion was it's like the beginning of some like weird scavenger hunt. I was thinking the same thing. But I think it's interesting that there's two going on. Did you? So I happened to go to the Old Navy because I was like, I could use a new pair of white pants. I immediately went to the Pac Sun. I went down the escalator from the Prada yeah. inside the Prada store mm-hmm. towards the yeah. Pac Sun. Yeah. You know how they connect. I took that spiral staircase that's in the back of Dolce & Gabbana. Um, and the one that goes right down to the Old Navy? Yeah, the one that's right, because it happens to be right above the Old Navy. Kind of yeah. convenient yeah, that they're right there. convenient, yeah. I love all the back tunnels and the secret passageways in King of Prussia really Mall. You really them. could... If you were a baby, it'd be easy to get lost. Too soon. Anyway, um, so I went down to Old Navy, and I was looking through some clothes. I kind of forgot about it. And then I found this shirt, and it said in big, um, gross, like, Comic Sans writing on the front... You found me. I'm the second clue. You should go look in the, the water fountain. The water fountain. Because well, I, I was guessing because that's what mine said. Well, actually, mine said the food court. Okay. I forgot about that. <laughs> yes um, and yes no. 
Well, yours said the water fountain. Mine said the food court. <laughs> We're on two different scavenger hunts. <laughs> okay, my scavenger hunt led me to the water fountain. Yeah. So I took a dip. Mm-hmm. And I start looking. I start flipping collecting the coins. Coin. I start flipping the coins, and the one coin says, "You must build a boat. There will be a flood." It said this all on the coin oh in God. really small print, just like the collar of our baby. It says, "You must build a boat. There will be a flood. You have seven days. You've got to make it out of wood, and you need two animals from every genre to be on your boat, or else it doesn't count." This is the f- this is the first stage of the scavenger hunt that yeah. you're on. There's a separate scavenger hunt that your wife is on. Don't tell her about your scavenger. Oh, I wasn't supposed to. Not important. Really funny you say that though, because mine. So of course I went to the food court. I asked the guy at Chick Fil A. I said, Hey, do you know anything about this? He said to me, Yes, um, I'm supposed to tell you. There's going to be a couple plagues that come. <laughs> 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 what is your problem? I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I was so full of water, I literally could not keep in. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so like there's gonna be a couple of plagues on the way. Um so like you have to mark your door with like the blood of a lamb. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, and in thirteen days. I forget the number, which I feel like maybe I should remember. Twelve, twelve. Um, or your firstborn child, Chris, will die. Um, oh, he the knew. Chick-fil-A employee said that, and then he said, um, your order number's 52, because I had gotten fries, obviously. Yeah. What did you do about the boat? Um, so, obviously, I went to Home Depot. I went. I go into Home Depot, and I walk up, What's and I... What's the Home Depot music? No. Because they play that all the time. They play that all the time. I love it. It really sets the tone. I go to the paint selection. I go boom, 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 and I pick all these different paint samples because I want my boat to be like stylish. I want to like like if I'm gonna build a boat, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, right. If you're gonna have two creatures, two kinds of every creatures, you're gonna want it to be a party. They're gonna be like judging the way that it's all set up. It's supposed to be like mahogany. The party. I don't think so. Right. I had to really. I went with cedar. I hope do. Is that a good... Yeah, I mean, if you're building a stupid boat, but... It was a really nice boat. Okay, I believe you. I'm sorry. At Cedar- first. <laughs> foreshadowing. Okay. So I go into Home Depot. I'm like, I'll have all this cedar wood. And this old, old white lady is like, what would you say? And I go, I'm building a boat for this treasure hunt I'm on. And she goes... Pulls off her mask. Uh-huh. I sh you not. Yeah. Pulls off her mask. It's Steve Harvey. Wow. He's like, welcome to stage two, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wow, stage two, I made it. <laughs> Steve Harvey's like, there's your cedar wood. This is stage two. Start building that boat. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so I got to work. Yeah. You got to start crack a lack in. I was cracking. That's why you I was were lacking. for a really long time. Well, I mean, I was also busy. You know. We were both distracted. Uh-huh. I thought the baby was with you. Yeah. You were supposed to be in charge of the baby. You lost it. I got distracted because I was on this, you know, scavenger hunt, treasure hunt, <clears throat> plague hunt, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so after Chick fil A, after I got my fries, one of my fries was actually secretly a piece of paper. <laughs> It was a piece of paper? It was secretly a piece of paper? It was. The frog? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I ate it and I go... <laughs> <laughs> kept coming. Was it really long? It was really, like a scroll. It like one of those, like one of those magician magicians. Trips. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it kept coming. I was like, how did I even put this in my mouth? How did we get up here? All that stuff. Um, and I read it and it like unfolded kind of like map style. Imagine... Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, unfolding, unfolding, yeah. etc. Um, and it said, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was it. It said, it's turn a- around. And I turned around. Huge map. All yeah. it said was, turn, turn around. around. Really tidy, too. I go, turn around. John Quinones, right <gasps> behind me. Oh my goodness. He goes, welcome to stage two, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. I was like, oh my gosh, John Kidiotis from What Would You Do? And he was like, I was wanted to see what you would do 
um about the plagues and he's like do you have a plan i said i was just gonna eat some fries and then like which, figure it out afterwards slaps me across the face which right brings there, us there. to our sponsor of today's episode oh, yeah? mm-hmm. stage two the stage app the stage have app. you ever wanted to be in the spotlight well now you can with stage two it's like one of those apps that you you know the ones that were like used to be a lighter mm-hmm. and you could just move it and it would like waver a little bit uh-huh. uh now it's a spotlight it also has that thing where you can do the special effects where it looks like there's a bomb. Uh-huh. Stage two. Stage two. Stage one was not good. Don't download stage one. So, John welcome Kenyon, to Welcome to stage two. My bad. Welcome to stage two, motherfucker, is the full name. Um, John Kenyon just slaps me across the face. Um, and I go, out, John. And then when I turn, it's a frog. And I was like, whoa, that was a really cool... I guess mine had some magic. Like, some magician was in charge of mine. Um, so I was like, wow, really cool. Um, and then the frog on its back said, I'm the first plague. Get going. So I was like, how am I supposed to fix the plagues? Like, I thought I was just supposed to put lamb's blood on my door, and I would be fine, and I didn't have to care about the pharaoh and, like, the pharaoh's son and, like, anyone who was the pharaoh and all of that. Oh my goodness. So I start panicking and I pick up the frog and I look on its stomach and it, go, and it says, go to Home Depot. You'll find an answer there. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. That's wild. And it's crazy you mention because my, after I started, after I was 99% done building the boat, I'm hammering on the last plank of wood on the side and I realize written on the plank of wood mm-hmm. it says go to the food court at the king of Prussia mall we ran into each other yes and i was like oh my gosh hey good to see you crazy i'm like doing something right now and you're like where's our baby and i was like oh my god our baby i forgot i put it right outside like a couple hours ago yeah you go you forgot about our baby john quinones comes back he goes this is what would you do you lost your baby the camera's in my face i'm like get the camera out of my face i'm like are you serious yeah. this is a television show i lost my actual baby yeah i'm like we're we're doing a scavenger hunt like we i gotta go to home depot and all um, so yeah, I kind of ran away from you. Sorry about that. I was like really stressed out about like plagues and all. Und- totally understandable. I was also so stressed out. I wasn't ready to be on TV. I had to make all these phone calls. Zebras, giraffes, iguanas, geckos, mm-hmm. lizards, cockroaches. leprechauns, cockroaches. Not the unicorns. Not the unicorns. They're not invited they don't for make obvious it. reasons. Well, they, get a- they don't make it. What's, the- what's that line from the song? The unicorn never shows up on time because it's always doing its unicorn things. That's the song. I bet from like the like the green alligator is a long neck geese. <laughs> I don't know that song. Are you kidding? <laughs> Humpty back camels and the chimpanzee. Oh, oh no, I do. I'm skipping over cats it. Cats and rats and pussy cats. And sure as you're born, love is love's unicorn, and then unicorn doesn't make it. Not important. Not important. Not important. Not important. Not important. important. He made a million calls million i keep calling most of them are beetles i don't know if you know that but most of the species on earth are beetle that's true and there's a surprising amount of variations of llamas that i did not know little known fact there's the green necked llama there's the long faced llama there oh my god i can't even name them all there's so many okay anyway you're making all these calls you're running to the food court i'm in the food court calling 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 Mm -hmm. i'm in my car locusts are hitting my windshield i'm swiping them away i'm like god it's like really locusty out here and i'm like oh shoot was this one of the thingies i don't know if they were in order not important blood raining too yeah at the same time as the locusts which is kind of against the rules yeah but i'm that I'm, that's shocking that that happened i was really upset about it i'm like i can't even see i gotta get a home depot eating my fries anyway tell me what happened with you so i get to the food court i'm making all these calls i call the the last species of beetle and you know how beetles are normally like <laughs> the last species of beetle i shit you not goes get on the boat and i'm like are you serious the treasure hunt brought me all the way to the food court just to tell me to go back to the boat. Did you leave it at Home Depot? You did, because I saw it in the parking lot, and I was like, what is going on? Is Home Depot having, like, a boat sale or something? It, it was, I had to go all the way back to the Home Depot parking lot. That's so weird. Where I ran into you again. Yeah. On my way up the ramp, I go, oh, hey, honey, what, 
what are you doing here? And I was like, I don't know, some frog told me to come here. By the way, watch out for the angel of death, I guess. Yeah, the angel of death. What's uh, one of the... the um, frog's blood, locusts. The famine, no. Bugs, the bugs, bugs eat their things. Their the death, food. the disease. I think that's the locust. Oh, Watch out for the angel of death. Yeah, the angel of death. That's what I said to him. She's coming. Make sure you put lamb's blood. Noel's like, I only brought two lambs. I don't have a lamb to spare. I'm saying this as we're like walking past each other. I'm just shouting it at him. I'm like, I'm like halfway up the plank. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll find some lamb's blood. And I get up onto the plank, and boom, right in my face, I'm talking to Maggie. I look forward, right in my face, Ellen DeGeneres. On your boat? On my boat. While I had left, she had uh, snuck invite? up there. Invite? Yeah, right? Uninvited. She goes, welcome to Strange 3, motherfucker. Just like that? Just like that. Wow. That's wild. And I go, oh. <sighs> kind of impressed with myself that I made it this far. Yeah. And then I start to wonder... How many stages are there? I go, Ellen, please tell me. How many stages are there? She's like, well, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but they canceled my show. They can't do nothing to me. And they, she says, this is the final stage. Mm-hmm. Stage two is the end. Yeah. So I'm supposed to steer the ship through the, the flood. flood and the river jordan it's supposed to i'm supposed to navigate to the river jordan i'm like how do i get there there's no water she's like you'll figure it out so i go up there and i'm getting ready and you were in home depot this whole whole time before yeah. the water yeah. even started well, coming while i was in there so i had oprah it's funny how there was like parallels in ours because huh. oprah came up to me pushed me in the back goes welcome to stage three motherfucker I'm like, oh, gosh, Oprah. She's like, so there's going to be a flood. She fills me in like real quick with, I guess, what was going on with you. I wasn't like really sure. I was kind of confused about the boat and whatever. She's like, there's going to be a flood. What you need to do is you need to f- make a bow and arrow and shoot the angel of death out of the sky before and also put lamb's blood all over the boat so that everything on the boat survives. So I had this like super mission. I have never shot an arrow in my entire life. Um, I'm like, where do I find a lamb this late in the day? It's like 7 p.m. The, there's That's not lamb selling time. So, yeah, I'm panicking. I do the only thing I think of, and I call you. And I'm like, hey, honey, what's up? Hey, so quick story, long story, really, I can't really explain. I need a lamb, I need its blood, and I need a bow, and I need an arrow. And I need to get on that big old boat. I know you probably don't have an in on that. I don't really know what the boat's deal is, but I need to get on it. Is there any chance you could figure out a way for me to get on that weird boat that's over there? Mags, funny you mention, get on this boat right now. I'll explain later. We hung up just like that. I happen to be on a payphone in <laughs> Home Depot. In Home Depot. Yeah. So I brought on the boat. As I'm doing it, I'm collecting pieces to make a bow and arrow. As and one does. While you're collecting pieces to p- do a bone and arrow, I'm birthing a lamb. Yes, your sheep. One your of the sheep, sheep happened to be pregnant. Was super really pregnant. Convenient. So pregnant, almost as pregnant as Rihanna was before she gave birth. Before she popped. Before she popped. Yeah. You know how they're really pregnant before they pop? That's how the lamb was. She mm, showed up was. like that. Yeah. I was like, babe, 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 we're doing like two per species. Mm-hmm. She's like, rah, rah, rah. no, she's like, ah. Yeah, yeah as, ah, as sheep do. Ah. So anyway, juxtaposition, you're giving lamb birth. I'm trying to make an arrow as I'm running to the boat. Flood now coming. Flood is on the way. Um, you were running into each other. I you're running up the ramp. I'm running up the ramp. You're like, here's a lamb. I go, perfect. Slaughter it. We cut. We cut that lamb up real fast. Um, now drenched in blood, I just throw it everywhere on the boat. Flood comes, water going. I take aim. I'm searching the skies. <gasps> there it is. We see a little angel. And you only had one arrow. I only had so one you... arrow. Only had one shot. It was a really bad bow. It really broke important. As soon as I shot it, bullseye. Bullseye. Right through the angel's eye, which is where the saying comes from. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Common misconception yeah. that you would shoot a bull in the eye. You're Angel actually shooting angels falls. in the eye. And that's when we realized our mistake. 
we forgot about Chris. Chris. Our baby. Our baby. And Ellen taps us on the shoulders and she says, Chris is your lamb. You failed stage three. So now we're here. Um, yeah. Didn't make it to the River Jordan. Also, definitely was not the right angel. When it fell, I kind of realized it looked a lot like a seagull. <laughs> so. Yeah, it looked like a really innocent seagull. I mean, from afar, it looked like a small, evil angel. Yes. I will give you that, for real. I thought it was evil. I was totally on board with shooting yeah, this bird. But there was a couple things we were supposed to do, like maybe take care of our baby. Um and, and along that. the way, we started thinking, we're like, oh my god, they were hinting the whole time that we were supposed to actually yeah, find the like baby. Yeah, on the bottom of my fries, I forgot it said, don't forget about your baby, Chris. Also, funny, because like Christ, like Lamb of God, like <laughs> Lamb. There's a lot of parallels, like yeah. biblically. There's so many hidden messages. We didn't see it, any of it. Yeah. I can't even break I it I missed down. an entire clue, Oprah told me, um, when they were yelling at us in the boat. Mm-hmm. Really awkward. And on the coin, I I didn't flip to the coin to the other side. You know the coin with all the words on it. Yeah. It, the other coin was like the other side was like, hey hey stupid, you're just supposed to find your baby. Uh, but I didn't see that yeah. part. Yeah. Sorry for all the plagues and stuff and the water. <laughs> um, we really hope you can forgive us, and we really hope that you can subscribe to our podcast. Yeah, make sure you hit that bell. Thank you for watching. I'm Nolby Doherty. I'm Maggie Elder. This is the Legend Has a Podcast. We're the world's most improvised podcast. Except this episode with all the cue cards. Oh, yeah. It's like a lot of cue cards. Our floor right now littered with cue cards. So many cue cards. It's insane. Shout out to our cue card guy. Shout out cue card guy. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>